This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Okay, so we got little Woody takes the stand again. Now, he did a lot of not talking, which was good, but then he offered up more information. He says, so uh, if I admit to things, I can't be charged for it, right? And they're like, yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, back in one, one time, me, uh, I, I went and shot up Rich Homie Kwan's uh, uh, barbershop, dad's barbershop with uh, somebody else, you know, because we felt they were a threat. What? What? So you're going to get this guy. So you're saying he could admit to a murder right now and be and be good. What kind of deals do they cut with these people to get get somebody to uh, if anything, this guy should probably be locked up over Young Thug, right? But they want Young Thug so bad. This prosecutor wants Young Thug so bad. They'll cut deals with people that are actually criminals, right? Actually criminals, right? And give them like, you know, a free pass. Get out of jail free card. You got to be kidding. You think Young Thug's that threatening? They can't even prove anything. It, it's it's infuriating to see the justice system be so, like, it was already bad and worse, you know? It was already bad. It already wasn't fair, right? It's hard to get a justice system that's completely fair, but uh, it's one of the most abused things, I'd have to say. Rarely do you get justice, you know? Then we got uh, maybe maybe I'm over overdoing it, but like the injustices you see, really are shocking sometimes. That's that's what I really mean. Maybe I'm going a little overboard. I don't know. But anyways, then we got Fifty Cent and Young Thug. I mean, Fifty Cent, Young Buck, Fifty Cent, Young Buck. Okay, Young Buck supposedly is able to repay his two hundred fifty thousand dollar debt to Fifty Cent. I think that ship has sailed. I think they already sold off his catalog. I, I, he says, according to documents obtained by All Hip Hop, Buck has sold enough assets for oh from his estate to cover all outstanding claims, including his debt to Fifty Cent. Okay, so the debt's gone, but his catalog, jewelry, vehicles, they they uh, they overall turned out to be about about a million bucks, right? He owes other people money too. It's not just Fifty Cent, right? So on top of that, Plate Young Buck is also able to clear off his child support burden. Uh, which was $190,000, and then he owes uh, the government money. Uh, that's what really triggered this whole sale of all his stuff. And he's going to pay back 50 cent, which will probably cover the, the expenses 50 cent had for his uh, Shreveport weekend, which was highly successful with uh, Master P, Baby, Cameron. You name it, they were there, okay? Everybody was there. You know, it, it looked amazing. People say I'm not talking about it. I talked about it three time, three other videos. Um, 2 Chains performs during A-Town Music Festival in Georgia, okay? But but that's not what it is. 2 Chains claims he was scammed out of $1.5 million for a cannabis dispensary, he says. Uh, an investment company representing two chains has filed suit against a dispensary shop called Pineapple Express in Hollywood. Um, the cannabis company scammed about a $1.5 million being put into the opening of this door. Originally supposed to be open by April 2021, but a series of delays occurred. It pushed that date back to March 2022 when he made the investment. Two chains claims he was given an option to withdraw 110% of his money with 30 days notice. 110% of his money. Okay, so a little bit more, right? He's getting around 1.5 million. Da, 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 da. It says it states they failed to comply with the investment group's request. Let's see. So, and, and in one instance, the firm accused he never of never filing income taxes, owing nearly 1.69 million dollars. Okay. Anyways, two chains will okay in the in the suit. He notes that Snoop Dogg's tour manager Damian Roderick introduced him to the company. Is that the same as his DJ? His DJ did something weird to me before. Like he introduced me to some weird business deal before. Anyways, uh, he's yet to comment about it publicly. 
And we got Elliot Wilson claiming he squashed the Drake and Jay-Z beef. Maybe. Maybe. I hate this little sit down they do they do with uh, Kendrick Lamar's guy here. I forget his name. And Elliot, where they just like, I don't really like Drake's new songs. It's like, come on, guys. You guys are just better. Let's be honest, okay? <laughs> They're better. Um, that's about it, man. I appreciate you all. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. I will check you guys in the next one.